Isn't it depressing to see this game? We're going to the movies! Who doesn't want to go to the movies? I sure don't. Because it's bowling. My goodness, that brings me back to good old classic what's it called? Oh my. <laughs> ah, bowling. As you can see, a few levels that don't necessarily try our patience. How can you disagree with that? Just having some fun going bowling with our cousin. As the old saying goes... Kawabunga? It's not the old saying I would have recalled, but what do I know? See, you can have fun in this game when it doesn't ask too much of you. Because again, the controls are a little loose, a little sloppy, a little too... I appreciate that you are facing the thing dead on. No matter what. That is sure is bowling. Ah, we get to do a par. That was it? Really? Because that is... <sighs> and there he goes. Well, at this rate, I might actually have a good time. I almost loathe it. Is this how frisbee golf works? I'm a little unfamiliar with the sport. It's it's very easy to forget that the handedness does matter in this. A hat trick, I think that is when you score three goals in a row in hockey, was it? And for some reason, we get a double par mission. I'm unsure why they thought the carpet was the one that deserves the par one the most. Because as you can see, this object is a little bit difficult to control. Like, it really does feel like we're missing a certain element that would make this doable. I think the idea is that you exploit the rolling a little more, but that's not that easy to do, considering there's all this garbage around. Give me a moment. Oh, boy! How come... How come I don't remember this level as being one of the bad ones? Because this really feels like it should be one of the... Maybe it's one of those levels where I got, like, super-duper lucky. Like, look at how hard it is to just get this thing to agree with what I'm trying to do here. How am I supposed... Like, what's... 
What's the magic trick here, buckos? I guess that was it, huh? I like that the physics objects move around so much. That's cute. Let's see what they have to say. Golf not 32. Sometimes you play golf and sometimes go. That is a... That honestly feels like... Uh, no effort was made. Bowling. I wonder why it uses the bowling name so many times when it isn't all that interesting. Bowling. Can you bowl? How good are you with bowling? This time we actually need to try, which is quite interesting to say the least that I'm actually requested to try something. Because usually when they give you the multi pots, you can just do whatever you want. The game doesn't care. Anyway, par 4, which as we all know means it's just a recipe for disaster. Well, that went all right. Oh, I missed one. I actually... <sighs> you know, before, you always seem to get them just fine, and there's no trouble or tribble or trials and tribulations along the way. <sighs> it's... If you hit that barrel, you might as well not bother, I think. It really does feel like it's designed around you not hitting the barrel. Again, why ask so much? I mean, it's not bad. Again, it's not as bad as the one. I guess the rug one was still for. Hello? Hello? <sighs> really? That was easily solved, so. I wonder why Orbital Bowling never caught on. It seems like such an obvious game. I appreciate that aiming for the stars caused you to actually go there. My goodness, this is not Mario Galaxy in terms of other gravity. The gravity in Mario Galaxy, by the way, is actually quite simple. The game has gravity fields that they custom apply to environments. Cylinders, spheres, and all that. All kind of simple stuff, and Mario's rounder so that the gravity mechanics themselves are simpler. It's easier to calculate a circle, well, a sphere, than anything else, after all. And with just those few shapes, whatever they were, they're able to make it all work. It's quite impressive, but as they say, 
Sometimes it's better to work smart than to work hard.